The fourth step in setting up the eKairo garage door controller slash opener is to connect the eKairo garage door controller sensors. One thing to keep in mind is that any of this included hardware can be used to install the sensors. However, most of it will not be fully required. In this installation, we will be using these adhesive line holders to string the wire over to the garage door, and then we will be using these adhesive strips to place on the back side of the garage door opener sensors. These strips should hold it. If we wanted to add extra reinforcement, we could always use the included screws as well. The angle brackets in this example will not be used, but depending on your garage door configuration may be required. First we'll start off by placing the adhesive line holders so that we can run the cables over to where we'll place the sensors. Now that we have the sensor control wire strung all the way over to the garage door, we can start attaching the sensors. Here you can see that we have the garage door here and the garage door wall right above the garage door. What we're going to do is affix the wired garage door sensor to the wall and then we can place the magnetic sensors to the garage door like this. The easiest method to do this is to place the adhesive strips on the back of the sensors and then attach them close enough so that they will trigger when they're closed but won't hit each other or anything else when the garage door is open. This will allow the sensors to move with the garage door without causing any damage when open or closed. This is important because when the garage door is open, the magnetic sensor will move away from the wired sensor, which will show that the garage door is open. And in the opposite way, when they are closed, the magnetic sensor will move close enough to the wired sensor to show that the garage door has been closed. Now that we know where we want to place our sensors, we'll take one of the sensor adhesive pieces, attach it to the back of the sensor, and then attach it to the wall where we had noted it should be at. We'll do the same for the magnetic sensor, ensuring that they are no more than three quarters of an inch away from each other. You can also take the device that is connected to the eKairo garage door controller and verify that it shows the garage door is being closed when the sensors are placed. Lastly, we will do some cable management and pull back the excess sensor wire and tie it back using the zip ties that are included with the package. You can also use additional zip ties or additional cable management practices to make your setup look as neat as desired. At this point, your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener Controller setup should be complete. You can test the setup by going into the Smart Life application on the connected device, selecting Garage Door, and then selecting the Switch button. When you select the switch button, the garage door should open or close depending on its current position. If your eKairo Smart Garage Door Controller is functioning correctly, congratulations! You have now made your old garage door a smart garage door device. From here, if you have any devices utilizing Amazon Alexa or Google Home, you can proceed to the setup videos for those devices. In those videos, we will go through controlling the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener Controller with your smart device.